The clock has started. 30 minutes. Then we turn the clock off. <laughs> and then we do it again. We got all the little flowers coming out now in the desert. The gods were at play that made this world or it wouldn't have been so creative, right? The angels take flight so easily because they take life so simply. A little on the edge, cheater line, huh? Right in the middle, baby, right in the middle. We have the Bronson extraordinaire. The only guy I ever known got banned from Tinder, Bubble, <laughs> and every dating site on earth. That's this me. is the only man's ever been banned from them. Oh. Can't come on it. There you go. 30 minutes right there. 30 minutes, how was that? Good. Good? Track rough? Mm-hmm. That's good. Well, you look good. Look strong. Again, if there's any doubt that comes in your head, you're just lying to yourself, son. Get you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. From what I've seen, how much progression you've made, even from this last year that we've been working together, but just also in these last few weeks, and what I see today, if you're if you're doubting yourself, questioning yourself, giving up on yourself from any little mistake or any little feeling in you, you're just lying to yourself. That's the biggest thing in being a racer is not getting attached to what you think you want and what you think you don't want. You just no. do it. And you do it with all your heart. You do it with all your might, all your will. And then you're going to get what you want because if there's any attachment to what you think you want and what you don't want, well then you're always going to be like a ping pong ball, up and down, up and down, up and down. And that's why you see so many riders inconsistent at this age of coming into this 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 next level. And that's why the top guys stay there so long is because they're not attached to that. They just keep doing the work, they keep putting the time in, they keep showing up. It's all good. All right, Kyle. That was good. I'm okay. fired up now. <laughs> yeah. Just like that with the camera, huh? Yeah. 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 Same thing. I'm, I'm giving it my all right now. <laughs> I, like it. I like it. You look like it. Good job. <laughs> so with Noah, he came off the uh, he came off the super minis, and by the way, we put him on the 250F because that's where the money's supposed to be made, and the rides are at. And we put them in the pro class because, again, if you go drop down, well, now you expect yourself to win. You expect yourself to do that. And that's not a good thing to do when you have somebody learning to ride a bigger bike, faster bike, is have an expectation on there. So we put them in the pro class. So then the first year is just, hey, get your feet wet. And as he's doing that, he's learning from better riders, more skilled riders, more experienced riders. So that will develop your prog your progression so much quicker that way than dropping down to the 125 class, dropping down to the intermediate class, and racing for trophies. So now he's open to ride national, he's open to make money, and that's again what the sport is. If you're not making money in the sport, then why are you doing it? If you don't get to the if you don't get to the top and get into Supercross and do something there, well you just did a very dangerous, expensive hobby. So that's why we've made this huge progression with him and it's taking time, but you have to be patient. You have to be patient with your development nothing in and nothing in this world grows instantly it takes time to grow and so the same thing with him is that his skill his know-how his technique his approach his racecraft learning this motorcycle is is starting to come very quickly but it, it's taking time so when you don't put expectation on that then it happens soon because he's never riding over his head or he's never riding to a point of trying to keep up with somebody or or beat somebody that uh, he used to beat before because everybody changes once they get to a new bike, new class. They start to, uh, some get on a bigger bike and progress and some get on a bigger bike and, and stay. So that is the big thing here. And what I see out of this kid is, is night and day different. But he 
loves a camera, I'll tell you that boy. He loves a camera. When you put a camera on this kid, he f***ing no. hauls. Okay, we just got done here with a little videoing um, at my place and uh, <clears throat> doing a little interview. We got camera boy, we got Magic Mike, we got get everything stuck Bronson back there, right? <laughs> Noah's out running with the drone chasing his ass and uh, so we had a good day out here. Noah did his motos, uh, we did a little testing. Uh, these guys are doing some filming here. I had the GoPro on me. Uh, battery went dead. We had to put it on no also. So there's just, you just got a little bit of what, uh, what I, I saw with my own eyes. But, uh, you know, it was a good day. And um, hopefully uh, we can do some more stuff and everybody enjoys what we did today. So uh, peace out. Thanks, guys.